Hey everybody, how's it going? So, I got something to bitch about here. This is a uh, this is a cross member that goes um, in a Ford Ranger, and it's there's a cross member that is directly behind the cab that goes across, and um, it's also where the the front section and the rear section, or actually the middle section of frame and the rear section of frame connect together. And it, it connects together right here. And um, this goes inside, I think it's the front because it's a C-channel frame. This part here goes inside and this is where it bolts, this is where it bolts together. And um, then you've got your leaf spring shackle mount over here on the outside of the frame so I have a truck that needs one of these replaced and so I was on I called the junkyard the junkyard said oh two hundred dollars mm, that's kind of a lot when it can get a whole section of rear frame for four hundred which I don't want to re I don't need to replace that all that because it's still good I just want to replace this this I bought yesterday at a body shop. That was my first mistake. A body shop in southern Maine that I'm not going to name, except for when I rewrite the Google review, which I think was removed because of, uh, I might have used the word ass or, or something in there. I don't know. And not to describe the guy, just to describe his shop, that it was a kick-ass. Like, it was a nice shop. And... The lady I talked to on the phone when I called uh, earlier today was very friendly. I'm going to give credit where credit's due. Now, when I picked it up yesterday, this was covered in a lot of scale. That's what all this, all this uh, rust debris is, some of which is on the floor now. And as I've been cleaning it up, I had to... this. This shield goes uh, goes here, and there's there's a bolt that is supposed to be right there. It goes through right here, and then there's it's a clip that holds it in, much like um, the beds are if you've ever taken one of these apart. Now, it basically looked all like this. This shield is junk. basically looked like this and so you couldn't see this which that's the biggest hole yet I figured this here could just be pounded out flat and it'd be all right but like now I'm looking at there's a pinhole there uh, there's a tear here and then this edge is is rough which is why on the truck that I need to replace this on, it failed safety inspection because this edge here on both sides is rough just like this. Now, if I can break it up with that, then it doesn't have much integrity to it in the first place. Now, overall, like this part of it seems to be pretty good, although I haven't gotten yeah, no. I think it would have. I think it would have blown through by now if there was a problem. But that's the first hole I showed you. This is torn here. That's part of the old rivet, which that's no big deal. It's torn here a little bit. And like I said, pound that out flat. This is. Um, this goes on the passenger side. This is the driver's side. It's rough like that right there that's torn a little bit there but I figured you know straighten that out this hole I'm not sure if this is supposed to be here um, maybe maybe that's for no I don't know I don't know I don't think that's supposed to be there it's not shaped like it's supposed to be uh, where else did it blow through oh yeah right there it blew through so, 
I called the shop I bought it from and I said, hey, look, uh, you know, I came in yesterday to buy this and um, it's got quite a bit of uh, holes to it that I wasn't able to see yesterday. I was wondering if I could return it. And the lady I talked to on the phone was very friendly. She said, oh, well, so-and-so isn't here right now. Uh, can I take your number and a message and have him call you back? I said, okay. sure. So he calls me back mm -hmm. in a reasonable period of time, like 20 minutes or so. And I explained, him, explained to him the situation and asked if I could return it. He said, dude, it was in your hands yesterday. And... I said, yeah, but it was covered in so much scale, I don't have x-ray vision to be able to see this hole, that hole, you know, this I saw, but I figured pound that out flat, you know, bend this a little bit and a couple tack welds and it'd be all right. This here I didn't see until I started hitting it with the scaler, you know. If you think, if you have the slightest inkling that something is a piece of shit like this, and you're a seller, don't fucking sell it. Because now I'm out 150 bucks, because you cannot buy this part, because there is no part number on this from Ford. There are some things that they just don't give part numbers to. My van was an example. It was, uh, I needed a, I needed a gasket a rubber seal for inside the air cleaner and there was no part number for it so I literally would have had to buy an entire fucking air intake assembly to get that seal this even though it's a part that's removable has no part number to it you would have to buy an entire section of frame I had called another junkyard two weeks ago to ask about this and they knew exactly what I was talking about right off the bat, which this guy did too. And they said $200. Well, I didn't want to spend $200 when I can get a whole section of frame for four. I don't need to replace that. I just need to replace this. This is all I wanted to do, was replace this. And now I'm out 150 bucks, and the guy won't take, won't take a refund. Needless to say, I'm really pissed. Maybe this can be repaired, but, you know, my thing is, like, this stuff isn't that thick. If you start grinding it to make it weldable, then you're reducing the thickness of it. And then when you go to try and weld it, you know, I mean, I know some good welders, but there's always that chance of blowing through it. And plus, if you make a patch on each side, if that gets caught during... You know, if this gets installed and then noticed during a state inspection, which this side probably wouldn't. Actually, no, that side probably would. This side probably wouldn't because your gas tank is right here. Then <clears throat> it's seen that it's patched. They can fail it. Unless you have some certification that it's some certified welder has has worked on it and has done like some x-ray scan or whatever bullshit you know that's gonna cost more than two hundred dollars I would imagine so this is literally garbage fucking garbage what I might do <clears throat> is throw it up on Facebook marketplace as something that needs repair and say I chose not to use it and take what I can get for it because somebody you know somebody wanted to do that wanted to do the other side fix this shit here and you know this here this over here then use it on their truck or just take it as it is and throw it on their yard truck then so be it but I don't like doing shit more than once and um, I'm really not 
too impressed. So, my word of me being wiser now is don't buy stuff from a body shop because if they're selling used parts, then, and, and especially, you know, something that was as rough looking as this, I shouldn't have bought it. I had a, I kind of had a funny feeling and I ignored it, but I shouldn't have, I should not have bought this. If a body shop is selling used parts, and one thing that they do a lot of is, and the guy had rangers all over the place. He had other stuff too, but there was a lot of rangers that he was doing frame swaps on. If they're doing a lot of repair work involving like frame swapping so that they can sell the vehicles after, okay, that's kind of a red flag. Why don't you have enough body work to do that you can't just have your business run on that. Why do you have to sell cars too? It's one thing if you're a dealership and body body work is, you know, a service that you offer, but the liter the name of the place is literally blanks body shop and used auto sales or something like that. It, body shop is first mm -hmm. in the title. So That's my rant, you know, I'm sorry to any, um, any body shops that are, that have integrity to them, that are watching this video and wouldn't pull a stunt like this, and, you know, I'm, I'm sorry if you're a shop that does that because you literally don't have enough work and you wouldn't pull a stunt like this and I'm giving you a bad name. It's it, it it only takes one it, it only takes one American in a foreign country to make everybody in that country pissed off and want to go to war with us. You know, that's what this situation is here. I'm the American and you guys are the foreign country. Which is a stupid analogy, but yeah. I don't know what I literally don't know what to do with this piece of shit now. I've got a metal dumpster out back, but I'll try selling it first. I could probably get 20 bucks for it. Maybe somebody can reproduce it. I don't know. But needless to say, I'm not happy. I'm going to rewrite my Google review and make sure I don't use any profanity in it because I think that might have been why it was removed. And that's that's the best I can do. That I could go a step further and put the name of the shop on blast on YouTube here. But... I got to draw the line somewhere, and um, I think I think Google reviews and Facebook reviews are uh, as far as I should go because it's not like it was thousands of dollars. It was just a hundred and fifty dollar part, but still, it really sucks because I had to drive an hour there, pay a hundred fifty for this piece of shit, drive an hour home. And I've been here since, well, I got out of work at 2.30. I think I started on this around 3, and I've just kind of been picking at it since very slowly. But, you know, that's all time wrapped up in uh, trying to clean this up. Because I like to clean everything up and paint it before I put it on when it's like this. But this, this is fucking garbage. I'm not impressed at all so anyways if you have any uh, comments opinions or anything like that um, please feel free to leave them down below and I look forward to your responses thank you very much for watching and have a great day